Da 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 <laughs> and I've got special magical fairy upside down unicorn pants Lila to help me read today too. Hi! Okay, so as you know, <laughs> last episode, magical fairy Emma had gone smack bang into Gigglegot's magical dragon's bottom and gone flying through the air, flying through the sky, Stardust went flying, the dragon went flying, until splat! The whole sky had turned into mashed potatoes. potatoes. Did you know that, Miss ah! Magic Sadie Pants? Yum! I know Miss Magic Sadie Pants. <laughs> I love so potatoes. We are now, grab your magic books because now we're up to page number book. 30 and we are going to start reading. So, do you want to hold that one and I'll start you reading like at the front mm. and we can open <laughs> the Smarties afterwards. Are you ready? I'm going to open these Magic Smarties for Mabel Poor so she giggle can listen. Got Poor Poor Giggle got weirdo. All right, poor Giggle got and poor Fairy Emma and poor Stardust who continued to tumble and twirl through the star jumble sky at the galactic dragon speed. That's all right. Um, until they all landed on the star jumble land ground. Everybody go thud. Thud. Like chocolate Good mud. Thing. Yeah, Puddle. chocolate mud and pud. Mud. Pie puddles splat. Oh, mud pies splashed, splashed everywhere. everywhere. Dear, Dear me, me. chuckled Dear Giggle. <laughs> and two fairy Emma as they yeah, like. help each other out of the, the very, very sticky mess. mess. Look, look at, at you. you. You certainly do not look like yourself. Do you want to show the mud, Lila, to all the kids? Oh. So there we are on that page, and then Can on the next page. Can you imagine a sticky mess, Jordan? So what you have to do, I'll just show them. On this page, you have to draw a sticky mess. Maybe a sticky mess that you've got into, perhaps. Maybe when you're cooking with your mum or your dad, or your grandma, and you ended up with ingredients all over the place. With a chicken face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So her bottom was on back to front. Her nose felt like a huge parrot's beak with a wand sticking out of it. Oh! Her ears were as pointy as a dingo's and one leg was hanging out of her ear. <gasps> Imagine a leg hanging out of your ear, Sadie. That would be silly. She tried to fly, but her mixed up little body was too heavy and her wings just wouldn't No legs sticking out of my ear. What are we going to do? Oh my stars. It was no use. What are you up to be? Wouldn't work. It was no use. I'm going to try and find the page here so I'm not looking after your fairy shoulder, Miss Magic Fairy. <sighs> there was no way she could sit in her flying exam looking like, oh, a dingo pot, oh dear, fairy snuffle pots, she cried. The spotty pouch I fairy fetch a whizzy can't e have been the right, the make everything right pouch because everything has gone all wrong. <sighs> Now we're up to chapter four, which is the Snickle Slide Tree. Do you want to show you chapter four? All right. Snickle Are you ready? I don't want, I don't want to yep. be in this video. Okay, we well can have a rest for a while, Sadie. Say bye, Sadie. Bye, Sadie. Bye, weirdos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the spotty pouch is nowhere to be seen, said Giggle Got, looking around the tree near where they landed. Oh no, exclaimed Fairy Emma. It must still be in your cauldron. Everything really is turning into mashed potatoes. She sat on her hands and began to cry, a waterfall of tears for several moments. Finally, when she looked up, Gigglegot was gone and she couldn't believe her eyes. <gasps> Fairy Sparkle Puffs, she gasped. They had landed in a mud puddle beside the Snickle Snide Tree. <gasps> Do you know my Snickle Snide tree, 
Lila. No. It is the biggest tree in Fairyland and it has a whole lot of magic doors and they take you to different places. So. Is there a sushi house in it? Well, I think door number 28 might have the sushi house. You yeah. Could be very correct there. So, where are we up to? Hmm. Oh, no, she looked at the snickle tribe. It had 22 magical doors. Oh, I fairy fib. There are actually more doors. Each one could transport fairy folk. Oh, you've finished your magic lollies, Mabel. Oh, let's have a look here. Could transport fairy folk to magical land. She rose quite clumsily on her one foot, squeezed out her wet ears and rubbed her eyes again. Can you rub your eyes? Do you rub your eyes when you wake up in the morning? To get all the magic fairy sleeps from the Sandman out there. It was the oldest tree in Star Zumbleland and the one she would come to with her grand fairy ma when she was little. Is there places that you used to go to when you were little with your grand fairy ma? Um, Did you go to the park? Yeah, we went to the park. Did you go to the ice cream shop? Yeah. Did you go to maybe the art gallery with your grand fairy ma? Oh, we went with the mum. You went mom. with mum? Oh, wow. And we put our hands on the wall and it was water. Wow. We'd always meet at door six. This is where she'd meet her grand fairy ma. The paisley rainbow door. Rainbow door. She told Stardust, who was laying flat like a splat sparkly omelette on his back, this magical door would take oh, us to the land of marshmallow teacups. Oh, hello. We've got a puppy dog visitor. What's your puppy dog's name? Coco. Hi Coco. Oh, hello Coco. In for the story too. We dangle on daisy vine hammocks and sip honey blossom mint tea and nibble on raspberry puffles. She lent her little body fondly into the tree. Enchanting, Signorita said, Sin said Stardust. It was fairy grandmas told me. So many true fairy adventures. She always got herself in a pickle, you know. Oh, even fairy grandmas get themselves in pickles. Does your fairy grandma get herself in a pickle sometimes? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Just like you, sighed Nay Stardust. That's it, said Fairy Emma slowly as a sparkle memory filled her brain. Are you gonna go and say goodbye to Pixie Daddy? Okay, let's finish this last bit. Grand Fairy Ma always got herself into fairy pickles too. Some similar to this one, instead of her bottom being on back to front, it had grown a long stripy tail and her head had turned into a caterpillar. Oh! Have you ever turned into a caterpillar before? I have. It was very funny, a very cheeky... See, this is up, our new page. Yep, a very cheeky, magical hobgoblin snoblin jumped out of the fairy woodland forest one day and said, upside down and smelly socks, turn this fairy into a caterpillar, pickety pop. And I turned into a caterpillar. And I ate lots of leaves that day, lots of leaves. And then do you know what happened to me? I got so fat and big that I felt tired. And then you fell and you went, do you know no! What I, no, do you know what happened then? I spun a magical fairy silk cocoon around myself. I fell asleep for many months and out of the cocoon, did I come out as a bear? No. What comes out of cocoons? Butterfly. Yes, I turned into a beautiful butterfly. And then how did you get back to your normal self? <laughs> Oh well, then I had a magic crystal necklace on me, like this one that was given to me like by this. my grand fairy ma, and I turned myself back to normal again, Mabel. Can you believe that? Yes. So let's finish this last bit. She shrieked, oh, I've got it! She said, now excited with a fairy flick. She was pulling off her fairy high tops. Grand fairy ma was so forgetful at remembering emergency spells that she hid them in her soles of her fairy high tops. Look at my high tops, these ones. Hello, high tops. That's my moustache. Oh, I can't move my foot right around. And my swings to make me fly faster. These are my shoes. Got... I like your high tops too. They're pretty cool. Grand Fairy Ma was so forgetful at remembering emergency cells. As I said, she put them in her high top. Leaning on a tree root, she peeled back the sole of her shoe. And there, sitting in her shoe, was an emergency spell. <laughs> and the number of the door that would transport them to the tea tree hospital. <gasps> what? All right, there's the magic high tops in there. Can you see that? Well, that ends our magical story. We'll conclude and find out what happens when she does the spell and hopefully it takes her to the right fairy tree house 
to get her fixed. Does that sound right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to say goodbye from bye. the Magic Fairy Treehouse. See you later. Have a magical weekend. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. bye 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 b